What's going on agents? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and I'm back with another Weapon Vendor Reset Top Picks video. I will not be covering all gear items at every vendor but instead focusing on which vendors have the best weapons for sale this week. Weaponry, stats, and damage rolls really are my specialty and I know that many of you turn to my reviews to make informed decisions as to which weapons to equip. For this week's episode, I found six weapons that are worth taking a look at. First up for this week is a classic M60 for purchase at the advanced weaponry vendor in the base of operations that comes with the unforgiving, capable, and vicious talents. The base damage range for the M60 ranges from 9,455 up to a perfect damage roll of 11,205 with this M60 coming in at 11,021, placing it in the 89th percentile for damage amongst M60s. Additional damage to targets out of cover ranges from 11 to 15% on LMGs, with this weapon coming in at 12%. M60s have the highest base damage range of any of the LMGs, and when equipped with a high percentage magazine mod, can be highly effective for crowd control in PvE. At the last call safe house is a double barrel shotgun that comes with the adept, destructive, and sustained talents along with a base damage figure of 82,931. Base damage rolls for the double barrel shotgun can range from 70,904 up to a perfect damage roll of 83,232. So at 82,931, this double barrel shotgun comes in at the 98th percentile amongst damage rolls for this weapon. The only item below average on this particular shotgun is the stagger percentage of just 291.5%. Next up, at the East 34th Street DZ vendor is a custom M870 MCS shotgun that comes with the accurate, determined, and competent talents along with a base damage figure of 82,930 and a stagger percentage of 289%. Base damage rolls for the M870 can range from 70,904 up to 83,232. So at 82,930, this custom M870 comes in at the 98th percentile for damage rolls. At the special equipment vendor in the terminal is a military SCAR H that comes with the prepared, adept, and ferocious talents along with a base damage roll of 34,281. Base damage rolls for the military SCAR H can range from 29,317 up to a perfect roll of 34,415 and at 34,281, this military SCAR H comes in at the 97th percentile among damage rolls for this weapon. Headshot multipliers among DMRs can range from 141% up to 172% and at 161% this weapon is slightly above average. Among SCAR H's, the Tenebri and Military SCAR H have slightly higher damage rolls than the Police Mark 17 and SOCOM Mark 20 SSR. So, with a higher base damage roll among its peers and a near maxed out damage roll, this Military SCAR H should be considered. This week's toss up pick is a Police UMP 45 for sale at the DZ3 safe house that features the capable, predatory, and ambusher talents along with a critical hit percentage of 34%. Critical hit percentages can range on SMGs from 29 to 39%, so at 34%, this UMP-45 is slightly above average. Base damage rolls for the UMP-45 can range from 9,545 up to 11,205, and this particular UMP-45 comes in at 11,121, placing it in the 95th percentile among UMPs. What makes this UMP my toss-up pick for this week is the fact that it has an average mix of talents and the UMPs are not capable of pushing out high levels of burst damage due to their slow fire rates. However, it is extremely stable, has the highest damage per round among SMGs along with the Thompson, and has a 95th percentile damage roll. You will need to be the judge on this purchase. And finally, my got-to-have-it pick for this week is an SAS G12 available for purchase at the 5th Avenue DZ checkpoint that comes with the swift, ferocious, and trained talents along with a high stagger percentage of 338%. Base damage rolls for the SAS G can range from a minimum of 46,360 up to a perfect roll of 54,424. And at 54,347, this SASG comes in at the 99th percentile and just 77 hit points of damage away from being a perfect damage roll. I would personally keep the swift and ferocious talents and roll away trained for something more useful for PvE work and boss killing like destructive or unforgiving. 
It is the combination of decent starting talents, high stagger percentage, and god roll base damage roll that make this SASG my got to have it pick for this week's weaponry vendor reset. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts on my weapon vendor top picks for this week. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with either a thumbs up or down, it would be greatly appreciated. If you want some more Lieutenant Buzz Lightyear and my division content in your life, make sure to pound that sub button and follow me on Twitter at Lieutenant Buzz Lightyear. If you have questions about any weapon in the division, look no further than my comprehensive weapon review playlist to answer any and all of your questions. And remember from my channel, likes, comments, subs, are loved. Until my next The Division video, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer saying peace out. Thank you.